Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this video, we're going to discuss how pitot tubes work. These are small devices often used on airplanes, within turbo machinery and even on Formula 1 cars to measure flow velocity, or rather, to measure the pressure and then calculate the flow velocity. But first, let's dive into some basic theory by discussing the Bernoulli equation, just to get into the mood. Simply put, Bernoulli stated that the pressure goes down as the velocity goes up when you're following a particle along its flow path. For incompressible fluids, this can be stated using the following equation. The first term is the static pressure, which is the pressure that you would feel when traveling along with the flow without disturbing it. The second term is the dynamic pressure, which basically relates to the kinetic energy of the fluid. And then there's the total pressure, which is the pressure that you would measure when you bring the flow to a complete standstill, which is why it's also called the stagnation pressure. The interesting thing about this equation is that we can reshuffle it to calculate the flow velocity based on the measured static and total pressure. So how do we measure the static and total pressure? Well, you guessed it, we can use a pitot tube. The front of a pitot tube is pointing directly into the wind, which means that the air that is hitting the front is coming to a complete standstill. So through the tube that is connected to the measuring device, we're measuring the total pressure. At the sides of the tube, we have holes or openings that are located parallel to the flow, which means the flow is not slowed down. A static ring, as it is often called, is used on these pitot tubes, which is a collection of holes that are all parallel to the flow direction. So the channels, the internal channels that are connected to these holes that go back to the measuring device, they measure the static pressure. The next step is to obtain the difference between the static and the total pressure to calculate the dynamic pressure. You can do this in an analog way, by connecting both tubes, coming from the pitot tube, to either a manometer or a membrane, for example. By measuring the difference in water height or membrane deflection, you can calculate the pressure difference and thus the flow velocity. Or you can connect the tubes coming from the pitot tube to a pressure transducer and use the electric output signal to log the data that you need. So, that's how they work, but how and when are they used? Well, keep in mind that a pitot tube can only measure the relative wind speed, which is the difference in the velocity of the object and the air itself, something called the air speed in aviation terms. So, if you want to know the absolute velocity of your object versus the real world, something called the ground speed, you would also need to measure the velocity of the wind itself. Or cheat and use a GPS, maybe. Also important is to keep the pitot tube pointing straight into the wind, otherwise you can get large errors. Although there are versions available that can measure not only flow velocity, but also the angle of attack. Now pitot tubes come in various shapes and forms, like this elbow version that I got from the lovely Katharina Kreitz of Vectorflow. They use 3D laser sintering to create pitot tubes with complex internal channels for custom applications. Pitot tubes are used in countless applications, with aviation being the most obvious one, where they log the airspeed. But they're also used at the front of Formula 1 cars to have a very precise measurement of the airflow speed, to correlate simulation data, track data and wind tunnel test data. And in those wind tunnels, pitot tubes are often used just ahead of the test section to calibrate the airflow speed. And I've even been told that pitot tubes have been used to measure the airflow in kitchen cooker hoods. True story. So that was it for our short video on how pitot tubes work. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and drop an interesting comment below. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.